Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Kotar. Here in lovely Otto City on Manon, where nothing bad could possibly happen, right? <laughs> no, there's a lot of nasty stuff going on underneath the surface, and we got a little bit more info on what happened to all the Selkath children. They were taken to the Sith base for some sort of unsavory purpose. Let's go ahead and let uh, Nilko know what we found out. Have you news for me, human? Have you discovered why the Republic is hiring mercenaries? Oh, wait a minute, wrong person. <laughs> My bad. Who needed info on the missing kids? Oh, I think it was Shayla's here. Human, you return. Have you information for me? Have you discovered the fate of the missing Selkath youth? Have you news of my daughter, Shasa? I have information for you, Shaylis. Excellent. You've done well. What have you learned? The Sith hired an Iridorian mercenary to lure the Selkath youth to the Sith base. I see. This information is useful for a start, but it is little to explain the truth of this matter. We must know what purpose the Sith have for these children. Are they prisoners? Are they even still alive? I must know more, human. I must know what has happened to my daughter. I'll look into this further. I cannot officially ask you to enter the Sith base, human. That would be a violation of Otto City's strict neutrality laws. However, I fear, fear such a brazen act may be the only way to learn the truth. But entering the base will not be easy. And should you be captured or killed, I will have to disavow any knowledge of your actions. I'll, infiltr I'll infiltrate the base. I wish I could be of more help, human. I will wait, wait here. Return to me when you have something more to report. Well, we knew we were going to the Sith base anyway. So, we'll knock out all the uh, birds with one stone. Now, let's talk to the Republic Negotiator and see if we can find out about these mercenaries. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive. Uh-huh. Now, we already asked this before. In case you have... And we're not getting any clear answer. And we also have uh, Jolie's friend who has been arrested for murder to consider as well. So, that's not good. Let's head... Oh, Lord. And here we are in the courtroom. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. I am aware of the Republic's indignation. However, witness reports clearly state your Republic soldiers were as willing to engage in violence as the Sith in this case. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. Words can be ignored, which is what your men should have done. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault for this breach of the peace. I should throw all parties involved into the Otto City Jail, but since no Selkath were harmed in this conflict, I will show mercy and levy a fine of 10,000 credits to both sides. Holy crap. The court is dismissed, though I warn you that further disturbances will not be viewed with such leniency. Ugh. And that's leniency. Or leniency. There we go. Words. Hello, Your Honor. I am Judge Shelkar, acting on behalf of the Selkath government on Manan. It is my task today to answer the needs of off-world citizens of both the Republic and the Sith Empire. If you have legitimate grievances with another party, then you should speak to me. You should first, however, consult with the Republic Embassy before pressing formal charges. Is there something you wish to bring to my attention? Hmm. I would like to investigate the murder case involving Sunray. That is acceptable, I believe. In the non-legal tradition, the defendant can have an arbiter who tries to prove his innocence in court. 
This arbiter is a neutral party that can investigate and present evidence in the trial, and argue on the defendant's behalf. As you are a Jedi, I believe you could fulfill this role adequately. I suppose you're Sunri's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. So be it. You are now appointed Arbiter in the case of Sunray vs. the Sith Empire. Your name and position have been recorded in our files. I will now inform you of the pertinent facts of this case. You have a limited amount of time in which to investigate and organize a defense of your client, and I advise you to use it wisely. Sunri was seen leaving a hotel, leaving behind a dead Sith woman, Alasa Huros. He has been charged with murder and is being held in the Otto City prison facilities. Due to his crippled status, he is being kept in the solitary holding cell. Witnesses claim to have seen the killing and are being detained at the hotel in question pending the trial. The manager of the hotel has now been informed of your appointment. Alasa was found dead of a blaster wound with an incriminating Republic medal clutched in her hand. This information has been uploaded to your datapad. It'd be wise to review all information before the trial starts. You may question Sunray or the witnesses. The evidence in this case is heavily stacked against Mr. Sunray. I believe it will take some doing to absolve him of guilt. Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. You may also interview the judges here, including myself, to get an idea of the pertinent factors in this case. Since this is also your first case and you are an off-worlder, I feel compelled to add good luck as my final missive. Indeed. Well, let's go ahead and check our evidence. This is getting very Phoenix right here out of nowhere. Datapad. Gunhan's journal, Manon Visitor's Guide. We got a lot of uh, <laughs> stuff we don't need. Holocron, prison key. Oh, it might be just in the quest log. Ah. You have spoken to the judges in the court, and they have cons consented to appoint you arbiter. Sunri was last seen. Republic Medal, we've all heard. Okay. There were two witnesses besides the hotel owner. One is Glupor, a Rodian who was staying in the next room, and the other is Feareth Me, a gambler who was all who was also staying nearby. Their stories seem to corroborate Ignis, who I guess was the person, the uh, hotel owner. Okay, well then. Hello there, Republic Diplomat. I'm sick of hearing about Manon's neutrality. It sounds like a coward's excuse not to fight, if you ask me. Hmm. They say everyone on Manon is equal. But, it seems the Republic is a little more equal than the Sith. Neutrality? Ha! That's a laugh! If I had to deal with these two guys all the time, I could understand why the, uh, why the Selkath would not be particularly fond of humans. I shall answer questions pertaining to the case, and those questions only. Hmm. Well, this is all trial information. Um, we need to get evidence before we actually discuss with the judges. I would assume they all think he's guilty. So, as we hit an invisible wall, apparently. Okay, there we are. Have we... Yeah, we've looked at everything here, except... Now, is there anything else we can get from Alora? I hear you've been appointed as Arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Can you tell me anything about Sunri? Well, Sunri is... He's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have had to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Are you saying someone your age couldn't overpower a woman? Hmm. I'm a Jedi. And one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, dammit. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. Don't worry, Alora. I'll save him. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Hmm. Well, there's also always the chance that uh, Sunray is guilty. You may come and go as you please, Arbiter. You will find the door unlocked. 
If you wish to begin your trial, you must make the request with the warden, and shall be passed on to the judges. Ah. There's Sunri. Let's talk to this other prisoner first, though. When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! Be quiet, off-world scum. You're a nice person. Ah, uh, that must be the warden right there. Yep, Selkath Warden. So, you are the arbiter in the Sunray Alasa murder case, then. I hope you're as impartial as the office is, office is traditionally supposed to be. You off-worlders have a tendency to ignore the rule of law in favor of some rather irrational causes. What is it that I can do for you now? I'm here to see Prisoner Sunry. Yes, I'm aware of this fact, human. He's in his cage over there, and I am sure can hear you quite clearly. Fair enough, just being official. Good lord. Such nice people, these Selkath. Okay, Sunry. Jolie, what are you doing here? Alora sent me, Sunry. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the Soulcasts seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Well, let's go over the evidence. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but... It's not what you think. I, uh... I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. Well, I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and... had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith. Trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes crosser to crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Selkath, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. I need to investigate the case some more. Any ideas where I should look? I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Selkath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Anything else I can help you with, I want... Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. He's got a lot of confidence in us. So I assume the hotel... Hold on a second. I hear you've been appointed. That's true. See if there's anything... No. Okay. Well, I guess we'll head over into the other district. I assume that's where the hotel is. Maybe. Yeah. I think... We'll head into west, back into the West Central. And the hotel should be in the other district. Unless we have anyone suddenly run up and cause issue. 
There's the port official. Yeah, we have to go to City East Central. This is essentially like the concourse. The uh, airport terminal. Let's see what's over in this section. Probably the entrance to the Sith Embassy, the hotel, and who knows what else. I would like to find some... Uh-oh. Uh Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the Core Worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. The Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Eh, no fight. I'm surprised. General store. Ah, finally. How much for all this stuff, Tyvark? For the Sith, a month's pay. But since you are a member of the Republic, I'll charge you a week's salary. Thanks, Tyvark. Catch you next week. Hmm, favoritism. Now I gotta get back to my post at the Republic Embassy. My break is almost over. Tyvark. I've heard from several customers that you are now the arbiter during the murder trial of Sunri, the Republic war hero. I admire you for accepting this position. I have no doubt Sunri has been framed by the Sith. If there's anything I can do to aid your investigation, I'll be happy to help. Do you know about the Sunri case? Unfortunately, I cannot offer any great insight into the matter. I suggest you investigate the murder scene, perhaps talk to the other residents of the hotel where the crime occurred. We'll see what you have in stock. As you wish, human. My inventory contains the finest Aerotech equipment you can find on Manan, all of it far superior to the Zerka corpse Will the Sith are so fond of. Advanced medpacks! Woo! Grab all those things. Anything interesting? Bimon package. Constitution plus three. Hmm. Well, we got the med packs. That's what we needed. Hello there, Sith. What's this? Another Republic lackey wandering the streets? Don't worry. The Sith will destroy you along with all the rest who don't bow down before Malak. I have no wish to trade childish taunts and empty words with you. I have nothing more to say to you. I have important Sith business to attend to. I like how all the Sith have that typical nasally, uh, snidely whiplash kind of voice. Haha, <laughs> the Sith will conquer all! Haha! <laughs> Twirls mustache. Talk like Wario. Hello there, droid. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Ooh, I'm a citizen. Let's head up north first. A door? And the Republic Embassy. Let's have a chat with the folks here. Roland Wan. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Why are your soldier? Well, oh, actually. I'm investigating the Sunry case. I don't know much about the facts of the case, but I find it hard to believe. I never met Sunri, but he's a hero of the Republic, not a murderer. The so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame-up. It has to be. The Sith must have plotted Sunri's downfall to embarrass and discredit the Republic. That's one possibility. If you want to solve this mess, I would focus on the Sith. That or check out the murder scene at the hotel. Talk to the other guests. Maybe they know something. I regret I could not be of more assistance in your investigation. Is there anything else? Why are your soldiers loading so much Kulto? Kulto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kulto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kulto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. 
Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith in our cultal supply. But the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. Which makes sense. Fair enough. Then I shall wish you good day. On behalf of the Republic, I hope you enjoy your time here on Manon. Journal entry added. What's in here? Republic security clearance is required to enter, which apparently a Jedi does not have for some reason. Got to find this hotel. Can't really search uh, search a murder scene. Visitors hotel. Here we go. Squeaky wheel. Ignis. So here is the owner. You are the one defending Sunmi now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. Tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Could it have gone off after he left? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. So, we could do. He will testify Sunri left before the shot. Now let's let's uh, keep that option open to us. Let's ask something else. What do you want to know? What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Who are the witnesses in the hotel? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here. So I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? Always with the Pazak. No questions for now. Well, okay. If you need anything else, I'm going to be right here. Well, we know we can use our Force Persuasion to get the verdict that we want. Depending on uh, what the evidence tells us. So here's the Pazak player. You with the Selkath? You here to see me about the murder too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? He used the F word. What do you know about Sunri and Alasa? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel too. Going to Alasa's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics usually. You mean Sunray was having a relationship with Elasa? I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Sith Master? Oh, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. You know you want to tell me. You know, I think I could trust you. Heck, I don't even know why I shouldn't tell you. Well, one time, I saw Alasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. She was a dark Jedi? Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify it to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Interesting. Oh, we got dark side points for that. Oh well. I don't consider that to be an issue. But we leveled up, which is cool. 
What do we got? We got some skills. And... Two remaining points. I'm going to go ahead and point, uh, pump those up into Persuade. See, we're I'm always wanting to keep that at least four to two points higher than everything else. And we got some new powers. And we could get Master Valor Armor. Which would be handy. Eh, let's go ahead and do that. Seems to be our good combative thing. And then we'll get a uh, Force Wave after that. And we should be in good shape, I think. I shouldn't have taken speed. So that's one. Now, this might be the... M oh, I want to go in there. And see... That might be Alasa's room. Here's Glupor. You here with Selkath? You have questions for Glupor? Glupor already say everything he knows. I have questions about the murder. Glupor tell everything to Selkath. You not know? Glupor have no reason not to say. Glupor tell everything. Everything about murder. Everything about Sith Lady's room. Why were you at the hotel? Glooper stay at hotel. Glooper not very rich. Hotel much too rich for Glooper to live at, but Glooper stay for weeks and have enough to stay here for a few days. Using Glooper's chance to live better for a while. What did you see? Glooper not see murder. Oh no. Glooper did not see Republic guy, the cripple. Sunray his name? Glooper thinks. Glooper see Sunray running away from scene of crime. Glooper see nothing else. Nothing else at all. Especially not in Sith Lady's room. And what about Alasa's room? Glooper just curious. Just curious to see what had happened. Glooper have no reason to go into room. No one paid Glooper to do it. You want to tell me who paid you and for what? Glooper want to tell you. Glooper want to tell you Sith paid him money to plant metal on body. Oh. Glooper want to tell you this because you are Glooper's friend. Good friend. Maybe give Glooper money? Maybe not? I'll have more questions later, Glooper. Glooper answer later too, then. Selketh not let Glooper leave while trial's still on. Ah, okay. So maybe the Sith are indeed up to some shady business. And we can't go in there. Ah! Uh oh, I'm trapped. Yes? Actually, T3? Open up. Time that we do some investigating. Footlocker. Sure. We can actually check the murder scene. That seems meh. Yay, a med pack. Security droid. So we have their two rooms. And can enter that one. Okay. Interesting. Well, we know that <laughs> that there's some shape. Ooh, mysterious man. You, Jedi. I hear you are investigating the Sunray murder trial, are you not? Mm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. Uh, many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What do you mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? I think so. Kinda. Mm, dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic. Likely in their embassies. And why should I believe you? Because you have no one else to trust. Not Sunry, not the witnesses, and certainly not the judges. And if you take my advice, what have you to lose? Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Hmm. The plot continues to thicken to almost unwalkable times, but... In the next episode, I think we'll go to the Republic Embassy and see if we can get any more questions and find the Sith Embassy as well. Good stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. 
and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.